Hi, this is Steven from Just Got Played, and today we're going to take a look at Kardashev Scale from WizKids, an engine-building card game by Stephen Avery and Eugene Bryant. All right, so if we look here, it says it's about 30 minutes to play, ages 12 and up, for two to six players. Lead your planet, gain resources, expand your scale. So Kardashev uh, was a Soviet astronomer who in the 1960s proposed this idea that uh, there were different levels of alien evolution and uh, level one or type one uh, was that you could capture and utilize all of the energy uh, coming from your star to your planet. And level two was all of the energy <laughs> capture and use from your actual star um, and Level three or type three was the idea that you would uh, capture all of the energy and use it from all the stars in your entire galaxy, which is just mind boggling. All right. So we've got a rule book here. Uh, looking at the components. All right. And the game is fairly simple. So the setup, uh, you set up the board like this with different, uh, the type one, two and three cards, planetary, stellar and galactic. Uh, set up that way, uh, explains to you what a card is, explains to you this sort of rock, paper, scissors uh, mechanism that we have going on, um, and then the way to advance getting other cards and how you lay out the cards um, on your own personal space uh, and how the game ends, which is 25 or more victory points. And then some special rules there, I guess, for two players. All right, we've got something else here from WizKids. Looks like just an advertisement. All right. Clash of Cultures, cool. All right, so we've got these. So there should be six of these. These are sort of punch outs. So let me punch one of these out real quick. Um, and this allows you uh, to, when you're going to do the, the summit, you have to choose which of these. It's either the type of resource that you want to uh, sort of collect or uh, this action to get uh, an advancement card. So that's how those work. And you know, those are nice thick cardboard. I think those will make pretty good dials. I assume the thing that hold them together is in here somewhere and we just, you know, haven't gotten there yet. All right, uh, so this is the starting token. Uh, so some things are done in order, which might be necessary. These are research is what this resource is. And this one is conflict. And this one is trade. All right. So, you know, again, if you choose, you know, say conflict, the way that it works in the game is um, if you beat your opponent because conflict beats research, <laughs> you get two of that resource. Um, if your opponent uh, played trade uh, to beat conflict, you would get zero. Uh, you could theoretically defeat your opponents to your right and left to get four. You could get zero. If you tie, you just get one each. All right. And so there's a lot of those tokens in here. You know, it's good cardboard quality, sort of what you expect. All right, here you go. Yeah, these are the things that allow you to sort of assemble those dials uh, that I was playing with. Silica gel. Uh, bag to hold things. That's nice. And then there's a whole bunch of cards. So we'll take a look at those in a second. And there's just this... Flimsy insert, but that's fine. All right, we'll set that aside. All right, let me uh, get these cards open and we'll take a look at some of these cards. All right. So again, there's a galactic when you're doing the whole galaxy. So that's type three uh, and stellar is type two and planetary is type one. Okay, so that's what the backs look like. Um, so, you know, it's got a name uh, for theme. You've got victory points. You've got the resources you need to uh, get uh, the advancements. I think these are called. And then so there could be some ongoing abilities. Uh, so cultural gestalt. Uh, okay. Uh, most people don't even know what gestalt means. Do you? <laughs> Stochastic modeling. All right. So a lot of these uh, at this level, you know, one, two, even three. Victory points. You know, I'm liking the art on these cards. I, I think that's really well done. Um, cool. All right. And so these red ones, I guess. Yep. These are the stellar ones. So let's take some of, look at some of those. 
All right, you're looking at more victory points. Hyperspace. All right, Starship Envoys. Universal Language. Hey, wouldn't that be nice? A Dyson Sphere. Okay, well, that was my first idea of how you actually would be a Type uh, 2 civilization. Um, all right, Asteroid Mining. Tectonic Batteries. Yeah. Wonder uh, how they actually brainstormed what went on these cards. All right, let's take a look at some of the... Uh, Level three things here, <laughs> exogalactic gate, galactic telepathy, infinite terraforming, self-replicating swarm. So these are singularity creation. You know, I don't know. The singularity might come before type three, I think. So uh, multiverse, programmable matter. Cool. So yeah, there's some uh, linguistic time travel. That hurts my brain just trying to parse that term. Uh, primordial weapons. Yep. So there you go. So uh, that's sort of what you need to know <laughs> about how the game is played and an unboxing of Cardashave Scale. Uh, if you have any questions about the game, leave them in the comments and I will answer them. All right. Thanks, everybody. We hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please leave a comment or hit the like button. It really does help us out. If you have suggestions for future videos, let us know in the comments as well. And then subscribe to see what we come up with next.